What is up, saying let's to kill, and I'm your anime champion. Hey, who here has heard of Fully Cooly? You know that that the the, the six episode, if if it's even a series, that you know one maybe perfect, and two is bizarre, strange. So so for me, I just to just to talk. You know, I want to talk about alternative, and I want to talk about the original series. How they kind of stack up to one another. What, what was going on there? But I do definitely want to tell y'all, like, how just real quick, how I feel about Fully Cooly. It was one of those anime that definitely has helped me get into anime just in general. But also, like, when I saw it, I was like, oh, wow. So this is what you can do with animation. And I thought it was fantastic. And it, 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 it kind of, it was like, what? You get to tell, you know, this. You get to do this. When you use animation as a as a, the, the 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 means to convey your message, I was like, bomb, 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 bomb. I jive with it. It's great. It's great. It's a masterpiece. Is alternative. So the straight up first th thing I do have to say is it does not capture the same mood as the original. Not to say that it's bad or the mood in it is bad. Just different. Mm. Instead, it kind of goes with a more similar theme of it, you know, this idea of what what does it mean to be an adult, to grow up, to get older, to be mature in a world where maybe it necessarily isn't or maybe it necessarily is too much of. It's kind of this slice of life, uh, slice of life approach rather than just the raw, moody adolescence of uh of nauta in the uh, in the original series it's it's man fool Cooley is angsty y'all so let's talk about some of the similar themes so it's the like i said maturity maturity and change is a huge part of actually both of the series and now to so much was running towards it went into like you know he he Oh, one, he, like, he said, a direct quote from him is, I hate adults that can't grow up, or maybe that is not the direct quote, is it, I hate adults that act like kids? Anyway, he's, and he's in such a rush to grow up, that's kind of one of the big, giant, like I said, one of the big, giant themes of it, whereas, you know, this time, we get to see a different approach of it from the other side of, uh, we get, we get to see it through, uh, Kana, who, She's on that precipice of actually being, like, legally an adult. She's, you know, 17. She's about to go off to college. And she just cannot find it in herself to to let go of her present. You know, she wants it. You know, that's also kind of a theme. And I'll be talking about it, is this idea of, you know, the a repeating day, being comfortable with where you're at. And he, she wants that. She craves that so, so, so bad. Or the idea of these changes, you know, the boyfriend, her friend's job her friend moving, all that stuff really does not, it does not feel good with her. She she's just cannot deal with it. So like I said, the same repeating day. I, I think that's very, it's a nice symbolic thing of the, in alternative, there's this idea of the same repeating day. When the series just like first starts, she she's saying, you know, why she, you know, she woke up, her eyes were, her her eyes were red, her eyes were sore. Because of the crying the night before, um, she kind of has a headache. She's like, every day's the same, and it's it's similar but definitely different and distinctive from, you know, Taku saying, you know, nothing happens here. You know, his was nothing happens here. I'm better. I'm bigger than this. This this is not. There's nothing to this anymore. I'm tired of being. He was tired of being a child. Like he was wanted to grow up so much, and he was just in. I believe he was in middle school. And, like, I remember being in middle school, too, just being like, I just want to get done with this part of my life. But you need to cherish that. You do. You do. You do need to cherish that. You need to cherish being young. And that's kind of the moral. The first, you know, multiple, multiple, multiple messages. But, yes, one of the bigger morals of the story is, like, you know, you got to, you're a kid. Be a kid. You know, it's, which a lot of people just didn't want to do. I sure as hell didn't want to do and now i'm like i don't know if i'm adulting well i really don't know if i'm adulting well but uh i'm doing okay i'm doing fine i feel fine um 
Everybody else around me is getting married and I'm not. But you know what? What? <laughs> I liked at the very beginning. It's she has a broken screen on her phone. And straight up I saw that and I was like, oh, she's the one that's like got this broken idea of, you know, this is what a clear, clear image is supposed to be. And it also shows that she herself is not mature enough to deal with situations that are left in her hands. And maybe, you know, she, she needs to grow up just immediately because you think about it. Who drops their phone? You always feel like you're not careful. You don't drop your phone. And who were never careful? Children. Like, uh, there's a reason you get them stuff that they can't break. Because if they can break it, they will. Uh, then that's like babies. Like little, 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 little ones. But even, uh, even when you get to be like eight or nine, a lot of boys will be like, we could break this. Let's see how to break it. Let's break it in the most unique and interesting <laughs> way possible. Another big thing for Kana is that she would, she herself would ignore certain, you know, red flags. She, she must have known, she, she, she must have known that her friend was going to be, was going to head out. You know, she must have known that was going to happen, but she could, it, it broke her. It like broke her down that that would happen. And it's like, it's, it's like, come on, the writing's on the wall, Kana. We're just straight up there. Um, I just like, you know, and how does that make this series kind of compare to the other ones, some of these things? How does that kind of compare and contrast to that with all these different things so far? Is I've got to say, you know, it is its own thing. It's its own unique thing. They went for a similar style, for sure. And they definitely captured kind of the same kind of chaotic nature of it as well. Very well in that regard as well. I don't know if it's 100% being as deep, you know, with, with that kind of stuff as with some of the other stuff. But actually, let me get into the stuff that I do feel like. I was like, oh, wow, wow, wow. You know, this is getting real deep, you know. The other stuff was kind of how it contrasted. Here's what I felt like it did uniquely and well. So Connor's role, to her own chagrin, uh, kind of seemed like she was the catalyst for so much of this change. You know, one of her friends is getting tired. She herself initiates this idea of like, you know, I will help you out. And it just kind of, it causes that friction immediately when you do that. Uh, the, you know, she, she was the one that everything was coming out of. She was the one that was supplying these robots that everybody was concerned about, uh, especially towards the very end of the series there was like eruptions in uh in the field and she and you know she was the one kind of causing this to happen yet she herself was so so against the idea of this progression this 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 situation happening that she could that she uh felt like she needed to take control of it her herself her her, her lack of control in the ever-changing world was kind of the thing that I felt was different, was way different than, than Nauta. Now, Nauta, you know, didn't really have control, but he, he was at least always understanding the situation, kind of breaking down the situation, whereas Kana is a different ride. It's a different ride altogether uh, from that, their outlook to the way that they were dealing with their situation, to the way they were dealing with Haru Haru, and it, it's, it was all, so I feel like we go with that, we got a different ride with Alternative. Now, I don't know if it's necessarily better. I wouldn't say it's better at all. But it is a good, unique, different ride to what we had originally. Now, they're with a lot of the same elements. And this one, in this one, there is, it's a, this is completely different, which did not play a role in uh, the original Fully Coolie, I feel like, because I literally just watched the original again, like last week. And so and that's this idea of what do we owe to society? Uh, I think I already talked about this in my Rick and Morty thing, but this is presented in a different way. This, in this way, uh, you know, Kana, she sees some one of her friends with jobs, her old friend with boyfriend, family issues and it's all this idea of who is she to tell people what to do who is she in in this situation she doesn't really she doesn't think about what she's really going to be doing in the future you know maybe she'll just still be at that soba shop that she already has her job at 
you know, she doesn't know what the future foretells. But that lack of vision, that lack of ideas of, of how to how to come up with a new situation, deal with this situation, or how to how to you know progress with the situation, evolve under the circumstances. She does not do that. And you can tell that's gonna hold her back. She's not gonna play this, you know, she's not wanting to play this important role, despite her wanting to take control. Control, you know, she fails to do that, and she still attempts to multiple, multiple times, and the thing is, like, yo, uh, how's that gonna happen for you? Huge, like, you know, oh, this is a big theme, was the flat earth thing. It was the idea of, you know, flatten out everything the way you think. I think in Nauta's situation, it's a little bit more the idea behind the flat earth thing for that story was... What if we choose not to think about it? You know, what if we threw everything else aside and just acted on instinct? Uh, you know, would it be a much that that I mean that has little to do with the maturity, but think about this situation. Like, what if Nauta just doesn't care and he starts to not care? You know, just don't think about it. Was kind of the idea there? Where the idea in alternative more was the the downside to the flat Earth was. How can, you know, you wouldn't be able to remember the special thing, the unique things, you know. I, uh, the way we think makes us special. The way we think makes us <clears throat> unique. Uh, which wasn't, it, that was, that theme wasn't really as prevalent in, in the first series. This one itself very much was our desires rule us sometimes. And we can't always let them. We can't always but we need to be wanting to do something. You got to do something with your life. Hopefully. 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 And then just a big, 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 uh, just continuous motif in, in this, this sequel, which I do feel, if you have not guessed, I do feel does well, stands on its own two feet. It's... It, it does remain interesting. Calls back to the original. It, you know, I, I think it does some solid work. I think they did a solid job on its own. I'm like, I, I think it's, I love it. It's just on its own. But here's the final thing. Like, the real message behind the story is the idea of this selfishness versus selflessness. Where Connor herself wants to help her friends, which is a selfless thing. It's, it's selfless, but she she does it for the reasons of she can't let go. And it, she has to make it about her, and she has to take control, which you just can't do. You have to let other people live their lives. You have to let the world do its thing. It's, uh, it's she herself is so caught up in this construct of a... Of like this perfect situation, this perfect day. She just would love to live that day. And she's never going to be able to live that day. But she keeps seeking that day. And that's not the day you even, she, I feel like she even wants to have. Because when you, she knows what's going to happen. And she, it's, it's going to be predictable for her. Where as the world moves on, the world continues. You live your life. Your friends live their lives. It's a better day for everybody because you don't know what's going to happen. You, and I, that was kind of the deal. What the hell does the future have in store for me? What does it have to, you know, what am, what am I going to live? How am I going to live your life? Well, the, be, the I guess the message behind the story was you got to live your life. Uh, one day at a time in a lot of aspects, you know, and know that it's going to change and know that you're going to have to start to plan down down the road and be able to, you know, you can take control, but don't force yourself on everything. You got to you got to go with the punches, as they say. And uh, is that a I don't know if that's a unique story necessarily, but hell is that a good theme? Is a good message for me. I, I like it. And I like I like Fully Cool Alternative. If for if you think it sucks, leave a comment down low. Give it a like because sure, why not? Subscribe for more details. 
let me know what you think about both series. I just, you could live, leave a full essay. Uh, at this point, I'll read it. Did I say I was gonna, did I say I should shave this beard? I will shave this beard when I get a thousand subscribers. If I don't get to that, I mean, well, I'll, I'll have a beard all the way down to here. I don't care. I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't make me do that. Don't make me do that. Subscribe, please. Peace out. See you on the next one.